Hi guys, today is another outfit of the day. I am wearing my usual oversized cotton shirt. I will link it in the description box below. You guys know I love these types of button downs and the ones from H&M are really good quality. So I'm wearing this and I also am wearing these wide leg jeans. Now, these wide leg jeans did not come like this. I actually cut them. I was looking at Balls and Beauty Lifestyle Blog. I follow her on Instagram and she also has a blog. So I will link her blog below. And she bought these jeans from Target, which I am going to get these jeans. I'm totally going to get these jeans. But I was like, you know, I'm going to cut up my own version that doesn't have so many rips because, you know, I like to have different looks. So I just cut up my own. I cut right here and I also cut right here and I created my own version of the ripped wide leg jean and i really really like it i think it's super cute i didn't want the rips to be too wide obviously i like to be pretty modest especially out here in the middle east so i didn't go too crazy with it but i like the look i like how they're ripped just enough where they're not showing too much thigh or too much knee but i am going to get these jeans from target totally going to get those because when i saw them on her i was like these are fire so i'm going to get those for summer but this is my look today i just got these locally out here in kuwait and like i said i cut them myself so i really do like them i'm just wearing some black flats because i'm going to get a mani pedi my toes are in some bad shape uh, so are my cuticles. So I'm going to go ahead and get a mani pedi and I need to pop in the grocery store and get a few things. I like to go to the grocery store because with it just being me and my husband, I like to get the right, the right amount of like food and vegetables. So I like to go myself and do that. And yeah so that's what i'm wearing today and this would look great with some heels obviously i am not going to put on heels because i am running errands and that doesn't make any logical sense to me so you know but if i was going to the movies or a movie date this would look great with my blazer and some heels like i said but i'm just running errands so i'm not wearing heels I also want to show you guys my lip color because it is really pretty. I like the consistency of this lip pencil. It's a lip crayon. It's from Makeup Revolution. I'll make sure I link it in the description box below and it's called Fling. If you're somebody that just wants like a natural pretty lip, I line my lips with a brown lip liner usually cork i told you guys i love cork from mac and then i put the pencil on top so let me show you what the pencil looks like this is the pencil right here the color is fling and you guys It's such a pretty natural type of nude lip. I absolutely love it. So yeah, that's my lip for today. Jewelry's the same, same delicate necklace I've told you guys about. Um, I'm gonna go put on my Apple Watch. Same bracelet from yesterday. I'm gonna carry the same bag from yesterday. So let's get out of here okay ladies as i end the video i want to talk about gutter snipes and the uncouth you know there are many things going on in the world and on youtube i'm noticing a lot of people are being doxxed people are talking about people's family members that do not do commentary on youtube uh, talking about innocent people these are really filthy disgusting low-class people and i heard love lies and lace front talk about 
you know, people trying to dox her family and discuss her husband. And that's been done to me here on YouTube. I mean, I don't care what anybody says about my husband because, you know, I show my husband when he's out with me because, you know, he's mine and I have one. So it, it's nothing to hide there, but he's innocent. You know, he doesn't bother anyone. He doesn't do commentary on this channel. And for someone to say disgusting things about, you know, your family when it's not them who is producing content, it kind of shows the, the mental level and how disturbed people are. And it's even going on in the news. You know, there was just the girl who accused Chris Brown of like assaulting her or something of that nature and she was like sending him naked pics and wanted to be with him and she was just mad and so this is really disgusting behavior you may not like someone's content but trying to go out of your way to dox them to talk about their family members this is loser behavior and I know a lot of women in particular are mad that they are losing in life that they don't have the things that they want but this energy to talk about people's family lie on people make up your own narrative to make yourself look better or feel better for your plight in life is really disgusting it's not something i engage in if i want to direct a comment to a creator i keep it there and that's what we should do so ladies, let's not get caught up in the drama. Let's just keep living an abundant life and winning. Bye-bye.